With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. So in this question we have the velocity time graph of a particle in one dimensional motion is shown in the figure. Which of the following formula is correct for describing the motion of the particle over time interval t1 to t2. Okay. So this is time interval t1 and t2 and we have to find which formulas are correct in these options. Okay. Also it is mentioned that this is one dimensional motion. Okay. So here we have velocity time graph. Okay. So this is v and this is time. Now uh, t1 and t2 is given and we can see that this graph uh, is a curve. Right. It is not a straight line. And also we know that acceleration a that is given as dv by dt right differential of uh, velocity uh, with respect to time and for a vt graph this can be the slope of the graph right so this will be the slope and that slope is given as tan theta okay so we know that for a straight line tan theta will be constant for the whole line right that means acceleration will be constant uh, for straight line graph okay straight line vt graph okay but here uh, the line is not straight that means tan theta will vary at uh, every other point of this graph right because this is a curve so this means that newton's equation of motion cannot be used to describe motion between t1 and t2 right because acceleration will not be constant and we know that the equation of motion are used only for case of ac uh, constant acceleration okay so with this information let us look at the options here option 1 is x t2 is equal to x t1 plus v uh, t2 t1 into delta t right this is t2 minus t1 plus half a uh, delta t square okay so this is in a way third equation of motion s is equal to ut plus half a t square where acceleration is directly used okay so as we discussed earlier this equation will not be correct okay now similarly this is v is equal to u plus a t right uh, this is delta t and again uh, acceleration is directly used here so this equation will also not be correct now third option that is given as v average average velocity that is equal to x t2 plus x t1 upon t2 minus t1 now average velocity that is v average that is given as a uh, change in displacement right delta x upon delta t right that will be equal to a uh, change in displacement so in this case this will be equal to from t2 to t1 uh, x of t2 right minus of x of t1 so this will give us displacement divided by t2 minus t1 right this will be difference in time but this is not equal to the equation of average velocity in option c right here plus is written therefore this option will also not be correct now uh, the last option is average acceleration okay we know that average acceleration is in a similar way given as uh, delta v upon delta t right uh, final velocity minus initial velocity so this will be v of final here this will be from t2 okay so v t2 minus v t1 divided by t2 minus t1 okay so this will be average acceleration and this is equal to the option d okay so this is correct so the correct option will be option d for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today